Hello. My name is Stevie's Brain. Today, I'm going to be starting a Let's Play of the Aquatic Adventures of the Last Human. We are going to play this game to completion. So, we are on a ship of sorts, being sucked into the void! And we're gone. Fucking later. Cool, we are now heading back to Water World. Piercing the icy heavens in three, two, one. I said three, two, one. Welcome to the game. We are a submarine. It appears that our ship has crash landed and that the surface is so cold the exit out has frozen over. And with that we are trapped underwater. Holotape, press F to read and for respects. 3016-01-19 This space will be our new frontier for interstellar missions. Looks perfect. Looks fairly abandoned. It's like we'll need to find a way to interact with this somehow. Press F to read. The floodgate will remain closed until the water level is stabilized. Phase 702 will be your home for now. Interesting. Another hollow tape. More and more reports are coming in that gigantic claims are destroying all worker drones. Be cautious out there, workers. This must be the giant clams they referred to. We'll most likely take damage from them if we get too close. Beware of sewage pipe leaks. Corrosive sewage will greatly damage the hull of all work shuttles. Avoid contact for your own safety. Set to close. Like we can go that way. And we are fucking trapped. Nice. Lower harpoon acquired. Select weapons with Q and E by scrolling with the or with the number keys. Alright. Uh fire harpoons with left mouse. Press and hold to charge. The longer you charge, the fa farther harpoon you travel. Good for damaging hostile underwater creatures. It can also be used to press buttons. Fun. This used to be a lighthouse. This is a big ass battleship. Took some 
Oh, he took some, some damage. Oh, I got it. Dark Souls of Deep Sea Adventures, friends. And we're dead. At least I respawn here. Nor do we have the power to confront this fucking worm easily, apparently. Slain the worm. We have gone through its asshole. And we now have the ability to open the floodgates that have the harpoon buttons, as they're being called. Very well. Almost biffed that one. This is a calm game. A calm, boss rush, scary, spooky game, but a calm game. Nice and relaxing. We're about to head deeper into the ocean. Beautiful. Music is starting to serenade us as we sail through the ocean to what looks to be the last remnants of humanity. Now, I must ask myself one key question Up or down? Do it over here. Fuck this fish. Sooner or later, we will die on this planet. All of us. How long do we really expect to survive? Forever? The dinosaurs lasted 65 million years. We'll never make it that long. By breaking that crate, we've just received a full upgrade. Our boat, our, our submarine, our spaceship, stronger, more resilient, the outside elements of this new undersea earth. And here, 
we've encountered a brand new obstacle. Vines. That should probably be in the jungle. And yet they're here. Surprisingly. A hollow tape. We've been studying the stars, traveling to distant planets in an attempt to find an Earth analog. But alas, there is none. We are helplessly bound to this planet like the unborn child of a dying mother. Humanity, so woefully lost, still had time to philosophize their end. To hopefully have whatever species that takes over attempt to understand us in its own meaningful way. And their own attempt to survive forever. Wolf News. An uh, easy analog to Fox. The great media, or the great facility of District 7 generates more than enough energy to sustain itself. It also powers most of our media databases. Basically, it means that messages like this very message might last far longer than us. So, even after the death of mankind, their remnants lasted far longer than them. The good old McDee's. Uh, welcome to District F. We're gonna go Hunger Games up in here. The Aquaman Hunger Games. This is humanity's home now. This is the new era. The time of prosperity and peace. Of ecology and oneness with the Earth. The time for life below the surface is now. So at this point, humanity had given up trying to save themselves. Save themselves from the surface and instead had resigned themselves to the underground. Ooh. The city of the future, in partnership with Googleplex and Edison Motors' Arctic Saga, or game oh games <laughs> Googleplex and Edison Motors Architect Saga just said spells games that's 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 fun that's fun I like that uh slight fourth has given us the new age of subaquatic housing watch oh well it's like games with two S's I think unless I'm being stupid Tell me I'm wrong. We are in a facility now. Warning. <laughs> Edison Industries has made it both its mission and its business to help save us from ourselves. Invest today. So it looks like some altruistic company to a similar vein of big pharma is trying to help people while profiting off of them. A foolish attempt to double cross humanity for its own creation of monetary value through coins and paper. And unfortunately we cannot activate this button due to our lack of an upper uh, weapon, upper harpoon, the yuppoon, as one would call it. And we are gated off from this area by another new obstacle that isn't just sewage or clams or vines, but stone, 
the very stone we could not break before in our times of earthly desires. And what's with the mines? What attempt at combat were they planning? Were they planning on long-term defense or an offense of sorts? Why would a world so obviously within peace be at war with itself? There's got to be survivors in District 6 still. The media's only focus seems to lie in the scientific success of District 7. Looks like we'll need a lamp to progress down that area. like we cannot progress that area unless we have some further ability we have not yet fully discovered. This message has been edited for security reasons. We found the B hideout, sir. It's uh, sensor. But we still don't know who is supplying them, sir. More mines. Preventing access, access to another hole of free. Horrors await us now on the sea floor of the farm. Flora. Citizens of District 1 will be relocated to District 4 as the water levels have destroyed much of the infrastructure. A new district is created on higher ground for all coastal refugees. We will protect the world's citizens at any cost. We had built so far up, all the way up to Mount Everest, and it still wasn't enough. Save station at the pipes of the station. B attacks continuous protest from fighting the slaughter of the last cow to slaughtering the creation of new GMO species. Will the B terrorists never be satisfied? seems humanity in all its hubris attempted to recreate one of God's greatest creations, the cow, and instead had forced it into a state of inert living, death. There was no beef in the future, a future I do not wish to live in. This is a trap, and I should obviously know it's a trap. Slumbering behemoth, the forgotten one, is the holy fuck! Oh 
god, the stink. The fucking foul odor is chasing me now. The beast is mutated beyond its original corpse. And, of course, it shits out toxic clouds that we cannot swim through, lest we melt into fucking nothing. Come at me with all you've got, forgotten one. I can fucking handle it. Nonetheless, here we go. Battle time. Against the foe that wishes to consume my uh! Once again, I'm forced to duel with Gron against my shitty opponent, quite literally as it floats and produces shit from its fractal regions. Call me that whaler from Moby Dick. Not Ishmael, of course, he was like the paddle boat man or whatever. Not Queequeg, because he was in the Nine Hot Native American. Or you, you get the idea of what I was trying to say. My, my point is, is that I'm hunting this beast for whatever reason it may be. Return of foul stench back to whence ye came. Oh God! No! I... Let's try that one more time. And let's hope our aim be true. It's death be swift. And that the fish of this fucking bikini bottom get the fucking message. That Ishmael McGee does not fuck around. That Stephen of the Brain does not fuck no shit. He is not one who fucks and shits at the same time. That is a fool's errand. A fool's task in his own mortality and his own personal gross desires. Unlike this fish, who is a disgusting behemoth. Launches its acidic assault towards me. The Forgotten One. Slain at last. My quest grows ever more dangerous. And yet I have acquired the jet thrusters. With the ability to press spacebar. Press the ship forward with the space button. Can be used to thrust past corrosive clouds. Dodge attacks. Belays through hazards. 
with a thruster, anything is possible. And we now have a new element added to our HUD. Or heads up display. We have the ability to move and groove in all eight directions. No longer are we confined to this tiny bitch ass room. We can now simply hoist ourselves above the corrosion that is Pipe Central. Succeed where our brothers had failed. And we journey on. Not because we want to, but because we need to. To discover the failures of our ancestors. Our future children. Is genetically modified fish bad for you? Tonight, we will discuss with leading experts from the facility. So it appears even McDonald's got in on that filet fish trend, doubled down on it with the mackerel burger. We have become superior beings within this ocean floor. But was it worth it achieving superiority by these means? I believe so. Our next task is to hopefully find a lamp to allow us to discover more of the ocean floor. I was amazed by how intelligent they seemed, but nothing could have prepared me for what had happened next. One of them spoke. So it appears, some filthy heathens were evolving, and instead of shoving them back into the water, preventing them from touching our precious, gracious holy land, they allowed the creatures to fester and replace us as the dominant life form in a new age where our holy land had been consumed by their sinful wrath of water. I shudder. What has happened to humanity? How has it allowed itself to be let go as so? But we journey onwards, not, be not because we want to, but because we have to, because we must. As I've fallen for one of the classic ruse. I've fallen for one of the classic blunders. The fathers approach me with their onslaught of tin and young. Holy fuck, they're just shitting out children. Fuck, their children are lethal. Thank you, creators of the last human on earth, to have, like, Seahorses spewed their fucking babies at me. I sure do love battling M. Craig, the boss fight. Oh god, some of them are growing. Some of them becoming stronger. Some of them willing to feast upon my very ship. The vessel which I crave to carry myself to safety. To find who's left of humanity. 
I'm failing at this very moment as we speak because I'm battling seahorses. I'm fu- oh, holy fuck. Well. That was certainly an experience. One I did not desire in its entirety. One that I wish hadn't happened to deal with the Empreg boss known as the Fathers. The founding fathers of the new Neo fish races, of their new fish overlords and deities, are the humans a proto god, some sort of forthcoming Jesus figure in their new religion. I shall never know, and I shall never understand. Jesus fuck, they really, really want to kill me with that, don't they? Unfortunately, I lack the power of upper... I lack the power of the upper crust. Sweet Jesus. fathers and their sinful progeny shall not be the best of me. They shall. They shall allow me to succeed where the rest have failed. And we have made great progress so far. With the power of the saw, we are now able to cut through seaweed that blocks our path. Is this massive, is this massive saw really only meant for cutting seaweed? Unfortunately, yes, because trying to use it as an actual weapon in this game is like trying to use... I, I, I don't know, like a, a fish grinder as a sexual orifice. Which is to say, very painful. But so we return to the... Drone, what? What the fuck? Drone. I haven't played this game this far in a while. Why? Drone? What? Thus is the beginning of the death of Calm and Collected Stevie. And possibly the beginning of Confused as All Hell Stevie. Once more. My revival was unexpected, at the very least. We return to a realm within the seaweed forest. Oh, this is just but one of the upper areas that we chose to forego exploring. Repair speed upgrade. My luck. Oh, 
It's this is just sitting here. Engine upgrade acquired. This is a passive upgrade. Let's you travel faster. The engine is actually an older model than the already equipped one. It is faster though. We are now a Zumi boy, rather than just a boy. Truly, we are remarkable and ascendant beings now. the hub of this land, the forest cave station. Let us quick travel back to District F. Would appear as though District F seems to be a place of periodic return, for I come back with not only the boost, but the saw. Poon's charge speed grows effervescently quicker. But alas, my return here is but short. For I lack the ability that is known as Upper Harpoon. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, mighty Harpoon. Oh, mighty Poon of the Upper Variety, where have you gone? Where are you within this aquatic wasteland that I now wander? Perhaps that question be left unanswered for the time being. As I now rest on the lulls of success of defeating the Forgotten One and the Fathers. The worm not really included, I mean it's the fucking worm. But I shall rest and I shall return at a later date. Stronger, maybe even wiser. Maybe closer to understanding the philosophy of this game. Its stance on politics and understanding of human nature. Or perhaps I am but another blind fool. 